Hey everyone, this is Pramita here. Uh, today I'm going to do a flip of my November journal. And this is a Prima Traveler's Notebook. This is a non-leather sort of thing. I like this because uh, it's pretty sturdy. It has a lot of pockets, though I'm not a big pocket fan because uh, I don't use them as much as I should maybe. As you can see, there are a number of pockets inside, but I don't have a ton of things going on over here. Uh, so this is my November journal and I did do, do a little bit of show and tell sort of thing. Um, in While I was uh, doing a flip through of my October journal, but um, yeah, so now I will do a detailed flip of what I've been doing in November. So as you know that I've already done this cover with bits and bobs and uh, yeah, I keep on adding stuff. Like I added this uh, negative space of a sticker uh, frame sort of thing just to put that on because I like frames. Um, I need to glue this a little bit. Okay, so and inside there's a pocket as usual. And I have a few things that I might use that I've kept inside. Now these are some notepads that I did buy from Paper, uh, paper Plus Cloth. This is a shop in Canada and it took nearly, oh god, ages to get shipped here because I think there was some sort of shipping um, problem going on. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways. Uh, Maybe I should do another uh, video on that of my latest haul and sort of things. Uh, I'm waiting for another uh, small um, uh, shipment or order to arrive and then maybe I can do it all together. Uh, this is the front page and uh, I have just collaged a bunch of things. This is a washi tape from our atelier. I'll leave a link uh, below if you want to check her shop out. Um, and this is just a sketch that I had done and I've just stamped a bunch of, um, you know, I have stamped a, a floral wreath sort of thing, uh, continuously just to create a background sort of thing. And yeah, that's it. It's very eclectic sort of thing and no specific rhyme or reason. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to take a uh, two sessions or I can do it in one. Because it seems I've started off rambling quite a bit. But I hope to do it in one go. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And I have done a brief overview of this uh, these pages. And I think I just did it till here. Because I did not do anything from 5th. So on 5th as you can see. I don't know if there's too much of light. Because uh, the sun is shining pretty brightly. And I have changed a little bit my filming situation. So uh, this is from a book page and uh, this is from a Tim Holtz paper pad. Uh, these are some stickers that I had in my stash for ages. I mean, literally for ages. And these are some washi, some paper scraps, uh, mostly paper scraps. As you can see, I tend to use a lot of scraps and, um, you know, think out many ways of how I can layer them up. So, so this is actually a tissue paper roll I recently bought. Um, this is from Tim Holtz. He has two, I, I'm not sure if he has more, but he has uh, two collections. Uh, I, I think I have two collections of his. One is on postal theme and I think one is on vintage, uh, you know, if, uh, dictionary pages and... Um, butterflies they are excellent uh, piece of ephemera or you can say or you can use them as layering stuff that I have used and I love them to bits like I I I can show you if you want just leave a message and then I can show you how the role comes in and you get a ton for a uh, good value so this is from a book page once again this is from a Tim Hoots paper pad so is this and these are all some scraps that I had. This is from a book page of botanicals. This is from Prima paper pad.
once again i have layered a bunch of stuff i don't know this is this too glary i was wondering i am not sure but i've just layered scraps of paper as you can see this is a ephemera piece that i had uh and this is a floral wreath sort of thing bunch that is from a botanicals book and this is from a magazine i have just layered a bunch of stuff over here this is from tim holtz washi and uh, so is this no this is from a prima sticker pack this is from the botanicals book i love this book a lot and it has tons of images so that you can cut them out use them in your journals uh, and this is also a scrap piece of paper that i have used in my journals to layer up yeah so this is once again another page that i have done uh this is a watercolor floral that i had done and then i have stuck that as an ephemera because i wanted to bring this orange color out a little bit <coughs> this is also a pencil sketch by me because i was having a lot of coffee on that day so i thought what better way to use it than this so this is a washi strip wide pretty wide washi strip from our italia this is a decoupage paper and i have used this is a scrap book page which i have distressed and inked and made it look very vintage you know j just to go with this theme and these are all tim holtz paper pad this is from a washi strip that i had received from a happy mail once again i have used all sorts of stuff over here Uh, these are all coloring book pages that i have uh these are coloring book pages uh which i have been using in my journals a lot this is a floral that i had painted and actually i wanted to bring this blue out on the page so i used this this is from tim holtz paper pad this is also a washi strip um If you want to see my washi collection, then please uh, write in the comments below. I can show you the kind of washi that I use in my journaling. And this is a pocket that I had made. This is a washi strip, um, and this is I have journaled at the back. I have just uh, stenciled some numericals at the back, and this is from a Pima paper pad. as you can see this is also from that botanicals book uh they have a section of animals also so that's where i just fussy cut those animals out this is also from a washi and i have just layered a bunch of stuff and uh, what i do is while i use these stamps i i have said this again and again i am not the world's greatest stamper and i invariably mess up every time i do that So what I tend to do is instead of messing up on the page I would rather mess up on a scrap piece. So what I've done is for the days I had a large sheet of craft paper and I have stamped out the days on it you know at one go. And whenever I need uh, some day uh what I do is I just tear up the pieces and I stick them up on the page. So instead of messing up the whole page If I mess up, I'll be only messing up a specific area in the craft page. So that's okay by me. I can handle that, but not on the page. Uh, but also, uh, it, it's you know, it's personal choice. Like you can rectify, uh, you can you know, cover up the mess that you had done. But anyways, so I have stuck a bunch of small bits and pieces over here, and uh, as you can see, I have used stencils all throughout. and this was actually a notepad you know it had this word wishes written on it and i've just created a vintagey looking background with the stencil you know it 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 is of a measuring tape kind of thing from tim holtz and um, i just made a background a grungy looking background of sorts and at the back i have just layered some washi as you can see and believe in dreams so that's that so i can stick this up like so yeah so uh this is from the cane company paper pad you know i have a total uh, i'm besotted with those paper pads and they are such good source of 
ephemera, floral ephemera for me. And uh, once again, this is from Prima sticker. This is a washi from our atelier. She has lovely collection of washies. So if you want, I, I, I will put a link to her shop and you can go and check that out. And she has, she gives these awesome deals, you know, like, um, I think um, she has also started some vintage subscription box um, and um, they are really awesome, good value for money and I really like the stuff she keeps in her shop. Um, this is also a Tim Holtz paper pad and I've stamped over that, um, used the same craft paper concept of having the day stamped out and just torn apart. Uh, this is also from a stencil. This is I. I don't know why. I felt that I could do that. I even did a lip out here. But it didn't turn out that great. So anyways. So I have just used some Tim Holtz, uh, you know, portions of paper pads. I don't use those paper pads as, you know, covering notebooks or anything, creating pages of sorts. Because I find that that's not my style. I would rather tear up a portion and use it in my journal. So that's how I do my stuff. And these are once again from Kane Company paper pads. Um, this is from a book page. I have stamped an image and then inked up the edges. Um, these are all from scrapbook pages. I think this is from an Amy Tangerine collection. Uh, this is also from this flower is from this has a small glittery element to it. I hope you can see it. So this is also from the same cane, cane company paper pad. And this page, okay, on this day, once again, I was having a bunch of a lot of coffee. Yeah, I like black coffee. And um, this was a Sunday. This is a map portion from National Geographic. And uh, this was a picture in that magazine, which I tore apart. And this is actually something I did an experiment with. And uh, what I did was I don't do decoupage or anything of that sort, but I would love to use the napkins that I get in my Happy Meals, you know. So what I did was I uh, glued them, simply glued them with the white PVA glue um, on a sheet of scrap paper. And then I fussy cut that out. I even did that with the scrap printed paper to give a, you know, book page kind of look. I will talk about that in a chit chat session uh, and show you how you can make stickers from your washi tapes and how I have made these uh, book pages from a book page sort of effect with decoupage napkins and that will be another session altogether. So I've used a bunch of washi and these are from uh, the National Geographic magazine and I've just stenciled some elements, that's all, nothing to And uh, okay, on this page, I think I did a prep with me uh, of this page, uh, not on YouTube. I think I did it on a traveler's notebook forum and this is how it looks after the completion. I'm sorry if you can hear a loud banging noise. My neighbors are doing something, of course, and which is not very pleasing to the ears. So this was a page I did on uh, live on Traveler's Notebook Forum. And I continued this theme over here using a little bit of green and then stamping on top. Uh, I have done stenciling basically on top. So... And this was another page. Once again, I have bunched, layered a bunch of stuff and I am planning to... So, okay, so this was Black Friday and I did uh, I did place an order uh, with our atelier. She was having a deal going on. So this is vellum that I had painted quite a while back. And once again, I've layered this up with a scrap paper. Uh, this is also from a paper pad. I don't remember which one. This is Tim Holtz ephemera. This is the Tim Holtz tissue paper that I was talking about. And I really need to do another session whereby I can disclose some of the secrets that I um, people think that I have been harboring in my heart. But not, there are no secrets, basically. 
so I think this will be till here and I'll be back with another session.